What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into that $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Speaking of the $50 giveaway, I will be commenting the person's name down in the comment section right when I am done with this video. So when you go down to drop that like, to drop that subscribe, to drop that notification bell or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you check and see if you're the winner down in the comment section. All right? Anyways, first thing I want to start off with in this video is to let everybody know I have been contacted a million times for like the last three years for me to have like my own Discord chat room, right? So that I could start for everybody to come together and just talk DFS, bounce ideas around. Obviously, I won't be in there 100% of the time because I'll be studying slates and still doing my thing. But I will be in there and, and I'll be available to talk and stuff like that. I have it set up so it's a text on my phone anytime somebody comments. So I will be in there talking a lot. So if you guys want to come join that, I will also post the link to that Discord down in the comment section. You can come join that DFS chat room and, uh, you know, just hang out. All right. Anyways. GreenLightDFS.com to join the squad. Starting off at point guard, John ja Morant. Now, first thing I notice on this, like mainly every slate, I say, okay, who's going against Atlanta? Because they suck, all right? And I, I hate to say that. Their defense sucks, okay? Players against Atlanta just seem to do great, all right? John ja Morant is traveling to Atlanta. I think this game stays close. I think it's going to be a fast pace, and I definitely want a piece of it. John ja Morant's only 7-2. Last two times that he's played, he has had very, very good games. And the most encouraging part about it, he's gotten over 35 minutes in each of the last two games. They're starting to really play him some good minutes. In 35 minutes against Atlanta, he could have that 50-point upside. I really love John ja Morant. I think he's going to destroy Atlanta, all right? Next up, um, because he's on the same team, Jonas Valanciunas, I have at center. Um, centers against Atlanta is a huge thing this year. Um, you just pretty much want to just lock a center in against them as long as they're great, good price. And Valanciunas is missing Clark. He's missing Jackson Jr. I mean, Valanciunas is in an amazing spot against Atlanta. All right, plain and simple. You want to play bigs against them, and they're missing bigs for Memphis. I really love Valanciunas. To run back those two Memphis guys, I don't love that Trey Young is only 100 less than Harden, but that Houston game seems like it could be a major blowout against New York. Okay, and I just think Trey Young at home in Atlanta in a beautiful matchup against Memphis for guards. I mean, Memphis defensively is bad as well. I think Trey Young, especially because I'm going to have a good amount of some Memphis guys, I like to run it back with somebody on the other side. And Trey Young, especially with Reddish, question, Reddish questionable leaving the game last time they played, if Reddish misses, Trey Young's even more of a lock. Okay, and, and there's going to be some value on Atlanta too that we can grab. But Trey Young, I don't love the price of 10 4. But I like the run back, and I do think he has a very good game here. And I'm going to call a 55-plus in this matchup. All right. Um, next up, it comes to a few of my cheap guys. All right. Rudy Gay at home in San Antonio. LaMarcus Aldridge is doubtful as of now. He's still doubtful. On top of that, you have Podol out. Okay. So Rudy Gay and Lyles are going to pick up a lot of slack. And you saw what they just did last game when Podol left. Gay and Lyles put the team on their back and just went with it. Rudy Gay's 4-3. I really love him. He's going to see 30-plus minutes at home in San Antonio. Not a great matchup for these San Antonio guys against that solid Pacers defense, but at the end of the day, it's just opportunity. And Rudy Gay is a guy, when he has gotten opportunities, he puts up a, a solid amount of DK points every single time. Next up, Maxi Kleber. Porzingis is uh, not going to play on this back-to-back -back on this one. If Luka Doncic plays, he's going to be a lock with no Porzingis, so pay attention to that. But as of right now, I don't know 100% on that, so I'm going to give you a guy I'm going to be putting in my lineups anyway, and that's Maxi Kleber against Chicago. Chicago struggles versus Bigs. Kleber can knock down the threes, and that's perfect. DK, you know, you get the extra .5. I really love Maxi Kleber um, with Porzingis being out of this game. And now here's the thing, guys. The most important news of the entire day is going to be whether Luka Doncic plays or not. If Luka misses, you are going to want to – put your hands all up in that Dallas team roster, all right? No homo. You're going to want a whole bunch of Dallas dudes. You're going to want to stick your hand all up in that, all right? Okay, so just pay attention to that. Make sure you grab the Dallas dudes if Doncic ends up out. 
If Doncic plays, Doncic is a lock, in my opinion, with Porzingis out. Okay? That's all I got to say about that. And that's it. John Morant, Rudy Gay, Kleber, Valanchunas, Trey Young. Did you notice a trend with this, as always? Okay? John Morant. They're missing players, and he's getting he's gotten a bump in minutes, and it's a great matchup. Rudy Gay, missing players. Great situation. Good, uh, perfect. Maxi Kleber, missing players. Valanchunas, missing players. Trey Young, missing players, and could be also missing Reddish. Every single one of these players are benefiting in some way. Okay? There's a lot of people in this industry who, who like give advice on players to play but yet they don't really have a real reason for why to play them okay so that's why i just want to make sure you guys understand that each one of these players are benefiting from some type of bump okay all of them are dealing with injuries on their teams and all of them are getting usage bumps because of it all right and they're in great matchups all right anyways thank you guys for joining me as always greenlightdfs.com come join us in that discord i'm going to put the discord link down in the comment section thank you guys for watching Peace. Good luck. I'm out.